everyone. I'm in the studio today and I am working with a limited palette on Arches oil paper and I wanted to show you a quick shot of my palette where I am using titanium white and ivory black and mixing those together and with a limited palette picking two colors to use and mixing that with your white, mid-tone, and dark. And so let's get started. In your studio when you may not have the freezer paper to use as your palette, which is what I usually love to use, is the kitchen freezer paper. Uh, but this Gray Matters palette paper by Jack Richeson is also a wonderful palette paper to use. It's also great for traveling. It comes in a smaller pad as well as this larger pad. So try it sometime and see how you like the toned surface as your palette. The gray is very nice and it reacts very similarly to the freezer paper. And I am also wanting to speak a little bit about some mark making today. Um, as all of you know, I absolutely loved the, uh, love the Marabou Mixed Media Art Crayons and they come in many wonderful luscious colors. I am especially loving the, the black and you twist them and they actually roll up like a lipstick as you use them up. So those are wonderful to make marks with in black as well as many other colors. Here's a beautiful teal blue green. Um, also we use Art Graph carbon discs that are water soluble. Um, but the black is a wonderful, very dark, rich black. The graphite is also wonderful. I use the white a lot of times as a last layer on a finish for doing mark making. And then a product I also use are the Sakura solid markers. And those mark on about any surface they, um, there's no paint mixing. They come in many different colors as well. They dry permanently within five to seven minutes after doing your marking. And once they are dry, they don't tend to fade or rub. Um, you can, and I went ahead and marked on the Arches oil paper with this. I will show you just a little. Here, they're, they're also very soft and creamy. Um, until they have that time to set up, they will smudge just a little. But this has been setting up for about five minutes. And you can see when I rub it, it's, it is not moving. The art graph also can give you a very thin line. I love anything that gives me a dark line for contrast. So that is another, another type of marking that you can use as well as using any of the Liquitex markers and your Sharpie markers, especially in the beginning before you start adding your layers of oil paint. So now that we have done a little bit of mark making, we're going to move on to our limited palette. I wanted to also add some of the Marabou, which is so creamy and soft and luscious. That is the black. And here is the blue color. And that may or may not show through, but 
it's fun to put marks marks down in the beginning just to see if you may want to retain some of those or scrape and and excavate back through to um, show some of those marks later on so in this limited palette I'm going to put down first a transparent color to go over this and the marabou does take 24 to 48 hours to completely set up when you are using the arches oil paper think sometimes about dividing it up into different arrangements this will be a diptych one is going to be smaller and one a little wider than the other just for some variation you know give yourself a little bit of a challenge to see if you um, enjoy doing things in a diptych triptych different sizes working in a series that can be a lot of fun and when you use a limited palette you pick black and white and one or two colors you can pick three colors it's totally up to you but it's sometimes fun to give yourself that challenge and concentrate on working in a different way than what you normally work just to see what type of painting that develops and you work across both pieces of work Can still see some of the mark making showing through and anything that you do on your panels you can also do on your paper surfaces I'm just going to pick a little bit of this up and see if that gives us some texture to show through it will lift some of the paint then you can add it back more opaquely more opaquely excuse me in certain areas and retain some of that texture from the tissue so we always say every time that you touch these pieces they change into something different and that's okay too
that's Gamsol. We will let that sit for just a few seconds. Maybe sing happy birthday. a little bit of the dots that showed through. That dark green is still coming through. I'm going to pull a little bit of a texture through with a stencil. This is a well used stencil. going to let that set up for just a little while because this is very thick right now so we will come back for the second part hope you enjoyed being in the studio with me today join me again a little later thanks everyone <music>